I think I want to take one of these peppers and eat it. Take an orange one. That one doesn't look too hot. <laughs> Shit, right. very rainy um, right now it's fine it's just a little bit overcast but this morning this morning when I woke up it was like a rainstorm and why that's so impressive to me is because we don't get those out on the west coast at all well we don't get them in SoCal so Southern Cali does not get rain at all so needless to say I was happy to see it I mean it makes for a sluggish day but it was like crazy I've not seen any lightning or thunder yet, but anyway. Anyway, today is MLK Day, and I got a little bothered by a Twitterer because they decided, well, actually it was Oh My God Facts. Oh My God Facts Twitter and said, Oh My God Fact, MLK slept, had sex with two women before he was assassinated the next day. And the reason why that bothered me because you know what this man was a great leader a great civil rights leader uh, a fighter for the for human rights for mankind he died for this country fighting for our rights and then on the day of his remembrance when we're supposed to be remembering positive things someone's putting someone post such an ignorant thing like oh he slept with two women the night before a I doubt if that's even true first of all B it's like it's completely just disrespectful to the man's lineage the man literally again again he died for fighting for rights, for our civil rights. And on the day of his remembrance and his honor, that's the best people can remember? Like, I just, I just found it so stupid. Anyway, I ended up getting into it with a couple of people, a couple of kids who thought like, well, what's so bad about it? You know, and I put it, I put it like this. Yes, the fact, if he did actually sleep with two women, no, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's his business, first of all. But then secondly, I just find it disrespectful because if we were looking at the news and some soldiers had died in Iraq, Okay, they're fighting for our country, putting their lives on the line. They die in Iraq. I'd imagine people would be pissed if we got on the news and said, uh, two soldiers fighting in Iraq had an orgy just before the convoy was attacked. Like, what's the, my point is, what's the point of information like that? So one guy that was talking to me was like, well, you know, it's, it's good to get a general overview of what a person's really like, and yeah, but what's the point? The point is this man did some great things. Let's focus on the positive, cut out the negative. I can eat a fatty steak and still enjoy it, or I can cut away the fat, eat the meat, cut away the garbage, get to the point. That's my whole point. Let's honor the man for what he did and keep away from nonsensical drama and gossip. That's 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 my point. So, long story short, someone tweeted to me and they go, oh my God, Alpha Cat, I think you killed, oh my God, facts, because their page is gone. So I don't think I had anything to do with that. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I, there were plenty other people more than me upset about it, but I was extremely vocal for about 15 minutes, so. <laughs> okay. Now how the heck am I gonna carry all these bags up myself? Done it before, I'll do it again. Did I do good? Good job, baby. Thank you. Do I get the treats now? Yeah. Now you get to get in the kitchen and cook me some food. Got a treat that's a chore. It's a chore, dude. Yeah, what's up? No, I'm in Kinkos right now. And um, I'm working on this um <laughs> this um, resume and it's driving me nuts. I cannot stand Microsoft Word, like with a passion, like I feel like it should make more sense and it doesn't, and I can never get it right. 
and I wanted to do more with it, but now I got to make my resume way more basic than I wanted it to be. So, um, but anyway, what can you do? The more important thing is that I get this resume done and get it popping. So I got it looking good so far. I'm using one of my old headshots along with one of my newer pictures as well. So I still need new headshots though. But this computer's driving me nuts. <laughs> if I think All right, y'all, finally got it together and finished. Thank God. Headshot, resume. Got it put together, resume on the back of the picture. Ready to rock. Took long enough. Putting one more. One more picture. It's kind of over because I'm talking to the camera and I'm the only dude in here. <laughs> so. Oh, what I do for you guys, Alpha V, to document everything. Oh, I think I'm done. I should go to my audition with like a poster like that, like <laughs> 36 inches by 48. It'd just be weird. Here's my resume. You know what? One day I'm gonna go to a resume to an audition for a comedic job, and I'm gonna do it just to be funny. And I'll get fired faster than I can say, fire me. Wow. Do you hear them? That's awesome. They're somewhere out there in the woods.